Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hops. Today, looking at another Odd Island Brewing Company beer that I got from the guys at Odd Island when I was at the Nordic Brew Festival in Fleisheim, a fun little beer festival locally. Uh, so I met up with the guys there they, at the after party. We were hanging out, having beers. It was great fun. It was great talking in flames and just music in general. And whatnot. We had a great time. Uh, they gave me some beers to, tr to take home, and this was one of them. So this is Simcoe Sessions. Session IPA, 4.9% with Simcoe hops. Um, I think I might have had this on keg at the festival, uh, but I didn't really. It was one of those situations where we just drink a beer to drink it, right? So it'll be fun now to try it with a fresh palate. So we're using the tumbler. All in, or the, not all in, <laughs> Odd Island tumbler. And uh, yeah, head faded really quickly when I poured this. It doesn't look like it has like an intense amount of carbonation because it was really hard actually to generate a head. But pours a very nice, lightly hazy golden yellow color. The head that was there when I poured it out was white. And the stuff that's there still is also, yeah, well white. But yeah, it's nice. Let's take out the aroma. Yeah, <laughs> Simcoe, dank Simcoe uh, aroma for sure. It's that dank pineapple and like this snappy kind of grapefruity vibe. It smells like, oh, it smells like very West Coast actually. Like what I think of when I think of a West Coast Session IPA or just like a West Coast IPA pretty much. It's those like super clean uh, aromas, like super clean, no, not crazy esters or anything. A little bit of malt profile with some sweet and crackery burny malt. And then it's just like nice aromas of citrus Pineapple, grapefruit, a little bit of pith, a little bit of pine even too. Mmm, smells quite nice. Actually more bready than I expected too. But ah, uh, smells like a nice sessionable beer. Let's give it a taste guys. A cheers and thanks to Odd Island for the beer. That's exactly what it is. A sessionable kind of West Coast-y IPA. It's not as bitter as a lot of West Coast IPAs. But the flavor profile reminds me of a West Coast IPA. Super clean and crisp. It could have a little bit more carbonation though. It's a little bit under carb for my taste. But otherwise it's nice grapefruit flavor. Less pineapple on the flavor. Uh, but yeah, grapefruit, grapefruit pith and peel, pine, a uh, hint of earthiness, and then some sweeter citrus fruit. And then, yeah, that kind of pineapple vibe. It really, it, yeah, it tastes like what you'd find on the West Coast, just not as bitter. The bitterness is much more restrained. And then on the back, you have that crackery, bready, kind of malty flavor as well. Hmm. It's very good. It's very nice. Definitely like the kind of beer you get at like a four pack off or six pack or however you get these and have a few because it's not super strong and it's got some nice hot flavors. And I'd certainly rather get something like this than like four and a half month old, um, Founders All Day IPA or whatever, which they're selling in the supermarkets now in Denmark. Uh, but this is really nice. It's not mind-blowing IPA, but usually session IPAs never blow my mind. But this is pretty much what they say on the can, a beer for everyone. I think most people would enjoy this, even though they're not too into IPAs as well, because it's not that bitter, and that's often what turns people off IPA. But hey, it's quite nice. So rain wise for the Odd Island Brewing Company, Simcoe Sessions. I think like an 88. 87, very nice session IPA, nothing mind blowing, but just very nice, easy going, sessionable stuff. So if you guys had a chance to try the Odd Island Brewing Company, Simcoe Sessions IPA, let me know what you thought of it. And thanks a ton to the guys at Odd Island Brewing Company for the beer. Great to meet up with you guys up in Flag Sound. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna say cheers and see you guys in another beer review.